Oh man, we're here. Take two. Last time we forgot bolts for the back of the diff carrier, so take two here. So we got Chris's old stuff here. Well, let me fix this. Brightness, take two. All right, take three, I guess. We're here, we got all our new stuff. Our 488, our one-piece drive shaft, our bracket kit, our axles, our stubs. We got all Chris's old stuff, which is an M3 differential. He's got an M3 diff, I um, and subframe in that car. And then 135i, but we're, we're doing it right. Our bracket kit works with both M3 and non-M subframes. I mean, so you got these big old M3 axles. These don't fail as much as non-M's, but they're still hollow. The CVs are still tiny and the stubs still fail. So we have these big mama motorsport 930, 94 millimeter CVs with our one piece billet stubs, much beefier construction than these, which is like a, like a, it's like the L in one. There's no bolts, there's no big one piece things. Um, yeah, excited? Dude, let's get this. Dude, we just done new burnouts. So I know, right? So and the big difference between these differentials is that's the 488 and that's way stronger. This is the BMW 210. So this is a M variable differential uh, LSD in it. M variable uh, relies upon like oil pressure, sort of like there's a pump inside of it to put pressure to both wheels. It's like not consistent. Also when it gets really hot on the track or like with abuse, it loses its ability to like, uh, like lock as hard. So it's just like a really nice road car diff, like I guess, like if you're like into like luxury, like touring through the Swiss Alps. But this is a proper, like proper motorsport diff. Like this is carbon clutch. It's never gonna get, like it's never gonna change in its uh, locking characteristics. Like it's just the bee's knees over here. You got the big old billet stubs that come with our kit, you know? So yeah, I mean look how shiny and nice that looks. This is how they come from us, all cleaned up. If you wanna order a diff from us online, you can do that. And here we got over there. That's just like off the side. Don't even, Don't even look at that. <laughs> this is the disgusting non-M diff with the input flange that is like literally, like what is that? That's a joke. That is a joke. What are you gonna do with it's that? It's like a bad knock-knock joke. It's a bad, it's a bad joke. That thing, we've blown up so many of these in my car, my 330 and I mean, they suck. This is 188 millimeter ring gear. When you compare the pinion size from that to the Ford, it's like honestly almost double. It's insane. <sighs> so yeah. It's finally beautiful. Let's put it in the car. Yeah, I've got a nice winter um, winter day here in Michigan. Finally treating us right. It's like a brisk 44 degrees. It's, I feel like we're in Florida. Like, yeah, we, like we could be in Florida right now. Like it's so nice. Yeah. All right. So what's first? Let's bolt the bracket up to the to the diff. To the diff, we'll right? Load the diff in the subframe. Yeah. So basically, you want to put this one in the subframe first. Then you put this one on the diff first, and then you line it up. Do -do -do -do. It's all perfect. These are our bushings, aluminum bushings. You can order with your diff or order them separate. These babies press in where the really soft factory bushings would go. So yeah, all right, so let's bolt this back. They can bob her on. All right, let's put this thing on. You put it so, in so and the then you spin it and it tightens down. Oh, wow. I'm breaking science. It's essentially, NASA grade technology. Elon Musk called me for this. Oh yeah. Told him I wouldn't sell it to him. They're like, how do we do bolts? Yeah. It's like, what is this technology you guys put on YouTube? Can you share with me? I said no. <laughs> yeah, we, we hold Tesla back. <laughs> Tesla stock dropped because of us. Yeah. So this basically goes to the factory subframe bushing. And then if you have a non-M subframe, we have a second bushing that goes through the subframe. Unlike some other ones, which actually like bolts the bottom, so you have a soft mount front and a hard mount rear, it's ridiculous. Anyway, this one goes to a bushing in the back of the subframe that we have as an option, so you can actually mount your diff with four points if you're like got you know, big power and you're trying to go for uh, some wild stuff. Yeah, it's like unlimited horsepower. Like, yeah. yeah. So basically, Wait, this this yeah. one's gonna bolt just like factory. Three bolts: one here, two here. So it's because the M3 subframe is like tubular. So you'll see we're just gonna throw a bolt straight through the normal spot and the normal spots and we're good to go. Oh boys, that's the prototype actually. That's when we, uh, that's straight up full prototype, unpainted. I forgot we even left this in here. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Oh. So your kits are actually golds and coated. We just painted these because we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. 
So we just gotta unbalt these suckers. This one has bolts. We have to undo. Ugh. But the new one has like weld nuts, which are nice. Oh, yeah. uh, what size is that? You think? Is uh, it this one? Hopefully that wrench that's sitting there. Oh yeah. Wow, it's like we know what we're doing. It's almost like we. Ah, ooh, my head. Yeah, that's uh the back trailing on. So this bolts straight to the factory diff mounts. I love when shit fits and you can just push it out by hand. I know. It's almost like we like thought I'm how to do this properly. the second one worked because if I would have said that, <laughs> I'd have to like bring out the hammer. <laughs> so she, she fits snug. She is nice and snug. Might need just a little bit of intimidation to get in there. Yeah, some tender love and care. Well, as you can see, we're using some poly bushings in there. Yeah, I think those are just power flex. Oh, yeah. Oh, good old power flex when I had the M diff. Oh, yeah. When Look at that. Work, you Look. don't have 80 years of corrosion on them. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Just need some intimidation, some influencing. Yeah, I think I just to look through the hole. Oh yeah, just some tender loving care. Just a little bit of influencing. Where's the influencer? Uh, oh, I think it's over there. Oh, it's right, right, right by your head. Oh, All right, yeah. Way. Using prototype products to beat in production products. This is what happens when you get outdated, you just get used and abused. <laughs> Alright. Right. Tighten it up. Just need a little love. Just need it a little forward pressures. Yep. Elon yeah. Musk technology. Give her that. Oh, that looks tight. All right, so the front bracket, let me zoom out here. The front bracket is in the car. Hey, Chris, you got some, uh, wanna get some angle from the front there? Show them how it's done. Ooh. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. See, this thing is in here, but it's really strong. Please don't shake the car off the jacks. Oh, that'd be, we'd be dead. That'd be like, caught on camera. Yeah, Jack death. Two idiots die in their garage by shaking a car off a jack. Making YouTube videos. Making YouTube videos. All right, sweet. Let's put the diff in now. Let's do it. Oh God, this so bad. Now, there we go. Go. Hey, woo! Yeah, we did it. Oh, screw those turds in. Oh, dude, there's. We need washers. But I'll throw this in for now. Be good. All right, you're gonna push up. Yep, I have. And you gotta spin a little like this, that, yeah. This way up. Yep. Uh, there we go. Woo! Drive line angles. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we actually put the dip at a certain angle in the car. It matches with the transmission well. It's obviously not here yet. Your kit will be much more organized than us. Yeah, this is yeah. totally all proto stuff. Oh, this will be sweet. Does it work? Perfect. This is literally, <laughs> this is literally oh my god. So I see one more. <coughs> see guys, we meant to do that. Yeah, we meant to do so we put that big old hog washer on the bottom. Oh, beef kid 9000. Yeah, I know, I got some thick boys. <laughs> Alright, all right, the diff is in the car! Let's do a burnout. Oh about ready. We we forgot to eat axles, oh shit. What? You need yeah. axles with this? Oh uh, yeah, you can't just put it in. Can't, we got the Bluetooth axles currently. Ooh, drive Bluetooth tracks. axles. Yeah. Just real quick. These are our billet outer stubs we created. You can keep ABS. E3640 to keep ABS on these cars, obviously too. 94 millimeter bolt circle. All like special steel, heat treated, e-coated. They're badass. The splines are 
perfect. And you, you have a normal nut on the outside now too, not that ridiculous BMW like 18 point thing that is the biggest nightmare to not strip out. It's good to go. All right, next step is axles. And the first step to next step is... Step that way. Oh. Uh, no, back that way. I'm using your shadows. Oh. Oh. So we gotta put the stubbers in. So basically you put the stubs in first to the outer because it can't fit with the axle in there. So you gotta put this in first. So let's do too that. Too much beef. Yeah, literally too much beef. All right, this is really complicated, guys. So we're gonna do it at the same time. Elon Musk, more, more strategy. Yeah, this is a nut. You untwist it. Then you just put it in the hole. Yep. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, you do that. Okay, okay. Oh God, I can't see nothing. Because they're axles, the splines are tight. Through. Oh, see, Chris got his. He's got to push him through a little bit, a couple taps. These will take red Loctite and go to like 190 foot pounds. Should I red Loctite them right now? Yeah. Well, actually, don't wait, wait till we get the axles in so we can actually torque them down. Okay, next up. We take the bar, put it in. So the, this side, the side with this this little CV covering goes in the outside. All right. So uh, yeah. Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo. Which side gets the longer one? The right side, right? Uh, I think so. Let's check. Yeah, the right side gets the longer one. What do I do with oh, there? Yeah. Be free. Oh no, I can't see. Oh, right there. You're in. Pull out a little bit. I never pull out, Chris. <laughs> Alright, the brake's in the way. Oh. Scooch over there, babe. Alright, I can see. Hold on. Uh, spin her a little bit. Which way? I'm just keep spinning until the bolt lines up. Alright, let me. There, you should be. Let oh. me see a bolt. We are engaged. Engaged? Not well, but we are engaged. It's like the first day after engagement, and you're like, mm, I mean, my, did I make a mistake? Don't look at Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me see those bolts, and we'll just do this side. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, the wind. This brisk 40 j All right, you got a Loctite for me so I can get red Loctite in my eyeball. Oh, okay. Red Loctite. This is Harbor Freight Loctite because we go pro. Put the red Loctite on the threads. You got some red Loctite. I'm going to pre-juice pre these ones up. All right, this axle is in. As you can see, we got this low-profile speed boot on this, on, this, uh, on this side, clearing everything. We got a nice boot over there. We're tied. We got red lock tight, 80 foot pounds. Let's go. Got some plunge and stuff. All right, let's do the other side. Yeah. All right. I'm just not gonna move. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Gotta get my job over here. My little lock tight job. Finally made the big time. Mods. Mods. All right. Mods. Let's get the drive shaft up in here. Mm, 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 mm. All right, now we're gonna put the uh, oop, the transmission adapter on. Comes with our kit. Yeah. All right, one at a time. I don't drop bolts on my head. Oh, 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 oh. This is a weird angle. Down more. Yeah, three bolts, three nuts, trans adapter. I wish I could say there's more to it, but that's just what it is. 
Let's put the drive shaft in. That this baby? Nice big chunk. Oh no, Mike's got the corona. I got the virus. Ah! I got the virus back. Alright. Let me get out of the hardware. Alright, hardware. You guys know what the underside of the car looks like. Yeah, you'll get over it. If you don't, you're gonna find out sooner or later. Yeah. Oh, let's go this side first because I got the little nut to get over. Alright. Okay, come in. Oh. In there, lax swimwear. Alright, we are in. Got the axles in, divs in. Drive shafts in. Look at that. Hell yeah, Bert. So yeah, no, uh, you don't have to break anything to put the drive shaft in. It's a single piece, three and a half inch, bolts right up with our adapters. Yeah, I mean, it's looking great. Hell yeah. So I guess what all we gotta do is torque up the big studs on the outside and uh, we had to do a fat burnout or a wheelie, whatever your car is capable of, really. <laughs> so let's uh let's get her set. Get her done. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we did it. Well in the sun. It's too bright. Turn her down. Alright, we did it. Finally. Yeah, we deserve beers now. Yeah. It's a coronavirus. But that's how easy it is to install the 488. Kit's pretty straightforward. Yeah, just nuts and bolts. So it is expensive, <laughs> but you get a sick LSD, you get any gear ratio you want, you, you get unbreakable axles with lifetime warranty. Single you piece drive shaft, get rid of that slot. You don't have yeah. to make a hybrid like M3, one series one that just... No. No more BS, you, yeah. get, you just get the best. That's it. That's, that could be a catchphrase. No BS, you get the best. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I should be in what marketing. Was, wait, what was the other one we were just saying, though? Ah, the best or nothing. No. No, something like that? I don't know. Fuck. But uh, yeah, so we'll give this thing a rip pretty soon. We got this car, we got this diff kit in a lot of cars. F an FD2 car is gonna go in. Uh, world record car going at the Texas 2K drag event with 1200 horsepower. Like this is a serious, this is serious business. So, I mean, depends, depends you, you, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, you know, depends. It's nothing, but nothing new. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, let's check it out. I mean, and it doesn't even sit, I honestly think it's sitting higher than the M3 diff did. Oh, 100%. Like the, our brackets bring it up so high. Like, I get those optimum drive line angles. Yeah. So this is the M3 subframe, like just to recap. It fits in here. You also can use a non-M subframe, doesn't matter, our kit does both. Get rid of your, this is, get rid of your M3 one. This thing's lame, it's hollow axles, shitty LSD. Get rid of your terrible open <laughs> non-M diff. Yeah, if you have this, this isn't even a conversation. This is terrible, this thing is just the worst. So, yeah, till, right. till next time. Till next time. Yeah. Peace out, y'all. Cheers.